if you haven't noticed by now, you're not going to be able to outrun the trauma, outrun the anxiety, outrun the stress that keeps rising up in your life. The energy of July is really, again, expansive. It's allowing for a big level up in consciousness, but there comes a point in time when we really need to face the demons, so to speak, that we've been tucking away in our reality, not allowing them to come up, distracting ourselves in those types of things. So if you're feeling that these things are coming up in a big way and it's really hard for you to get out of that dense energy, it's time to really heal that. Lean into it and settle that once and for all, meaning bring it back into the mix. Your body is trying to manifest itself based on the condition response to the dense energy. So show your body a new way of being, meaning in the midst, in the presence of the anxiety, of the stress, of the story your ego is telling you, bring it into the heart and find love and find compassion. If you can do that, you will feel your body, your physical body, actually become a new version. It will start to release the old energy. And I know it's hard. I've had a lot of stuff come up within me lately. And as much as I try to move through it, I still have the thought going like this in the background, right? So you need to keep getting back into it. Keep getting back into it and allow your body to shift again. Feel into it. Bring compassion forward. Bring love forward. Feel gratitude. Gratitude that you know how to navigate this dense energy. Be grateful that you have the tools, you have the techniques, that you know that you can focus on your breath. Just last night, my guide came forward and I've been struggling with something and he reminded me that these things come up as opportunities. It is showing me where a certain belief or a story or a limitation that I've imposed on myself at some point in the past is out of alignment with the real me. It's a healing opportunity. We like to think these things are bad. We like to distract ourselves from them. But the key to moving through it and reclaiming that wonderful abundant energy that's been siphoned off into these stories and creating this anxiety is to sit with it and be present with it and breathe with it. Again, when you try to distract yourself, you are not helping your body become a higher frequency version. You are just kicking the can down the road. And I will assure you that it will come up in a bigger way until you choose to face it and sit with it. That's the healing process. That's why things that you've put off or distracted yourself from find their way back up. Now, I'm not saying that once you sit and be present with it and feel it, that it's going to go away. It's going to come up. It's a memory. It's part of who you are, but it's not going to hold the same level of charge because you're not going to be subconsciously feeding it energy continuously. These things have been running in the background, much like a computer virus, and when they become conscious, as bad as that feels, that is the golden opportunity to sit with it. And that's what my guide was explaining to me. That's why we're here. We want to reclaim all of these soul fragments that have been broken off anytime there was a trauma and we created these alternate identities. We want to bring them all back into the mix, bring them all back into the fold and the opportunity that they present is huge. When you get to a point where you're ready to have a massive up leveling in your consciousness, in your reality, starting to experience higher frequency timelines, these things are going to come up in a much bigger way. It's like, okay, it's an awakening moment. All right, we're ready to up level, but you really need to deal with this thing that you've been putting off or been distracting yourself from. So here it is. And a lot of times we feel that depressed energy. We feel like we've screwed up or messed something up. We feel like we just can't move on because of this thing there, right? No, your higher self is showing you that this was created based on limiting beliefs. And it is time to recognize that, time to fully feel it, bring it into the body and connect with that love and compassion. Bring it into the root, bring it into the sacral, bring it into the solar plexus, use your breath, feel these areas, feel these chakras, experience them 
within your body because all of this trauma is a reflection of those chakras being out of balance. So again, an opportunity to do the energetic work, right? Meaning you can detach from the story that your mind is telling you, all the catastrophes that could happen, all of the anticipated future timelines based on something that happened in the past, all of these things that your mind is telling you is just a manifestation of dense energy that is coming up into your awareness. If you let your mind continue to do this and you buy into it and believe it, you're reinforcing older conditions, older timelines, right? Your body is going back to the state of tension that it was when whenever that trauma was first occurred. So you want to show it a new way of being. You allow yourself to feel yourself wanting to become small and you bring it into the bigness of who you are. You bring it into the expanded version of who you are. You bring it into the higher frequency energy, the multidimensional energy that you are. Your body will get a taste of that. It will let go of the anxiety. It will let go of the stress. Your immune system, your heart, your brain, everything will start speaking to each other. And you'll start to notice that you're feeling a little more at peace. You're feeling a little bit more relaxed. You're feeling a little bit more available for opportunities that are going to come your way. They're presenting themselves. You're going to be able to perceive them. All that chronic stuff, all of that tension, it's going to start to melt away. That's because this energy that's been creating those conditions that has come up into your awareness that you've wanted to run from again has finally been alchemized because you've had the strength, you have the compassion, you feel empowered to finally face it. Again, your mind's going to do what it does. It's going to tell you stories. It's going to anticipate future timelines. Let it do its thing. But when you feel the smallness coming in, when you feel the anxiety, the stress, the tension, and your body is trying to respond to that energy and become that, show it something new. That's the empowered you. That's the multidimensional you. That's the healer in you. That is the limitless you. Golden opportunities this month and moving forward. We've got all these gateways. We've got Lionsgate coming up, right? We've got a whole bunch of things happening that are just giving you this opportunity to expand. So don't run from the density as it rises up. Show it something new. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. Thank you.